I don't lose anything. Hey guys, Herm from Dime City Cycles here. Just wanted to remind you that you still have time to register to win the beautiful Bonneville that we're giving away. If you haven't heard, we've partnered with Triumph Motorcycles, Iron and Air Magazine, and Neil Bailey's Wellspring Foundation to give one of you lucky guys a brand new Bonnie. That's right, Triumph was nice enough to give us a stock Bonneville. Jason and I took the damn thing apart and made it into a one-of-a-kind Dime City Cycles Cafe Racer, and you can win that bike. Uh, so sit back, relax for a minute or two, watch this video that Jason and I put together as we take this brand new Bonnie, strip it apart, and put all the Dime City luxury on it. Um, then when you're done, head over to ironandair.com forward slash triumph giveaway to register for the bike. And if you're feeling generous, donate a little bit to these kids out there at the Wellspring Foundation, help them find a home. One thing to take note of, it's really simple, but uh, it gets missed. This grommet can slide all the way back down behind the tail light, and you definitely want to make sure you pull that up and fit it into that piece. Uh, that'll stop that wire from chafing on you. And this is... Uh, Plug and play. It's literally that simple. That's, That's it. it. And these are going to be for your turn signals, right. um, which we opted not to put on right off the bat. Right. We'll supply them with the giveaway in case the guy has to put them in his state. Yeah, the guy's got to use them that um, way. But yep. we're going to keep those off for the time being. What is that? I don't know what that is. Uh, I don't know, something that goes up. <laughs> <laughs> We gotta change the shocks out. Do we wanna change the shocks out now while the wheel's off so we can move the swing arm? Do we have them here? We do. Let's do that. Thanks to our buddy, Mr. Z over at Progressive. We got a set of these nice new 412s. These are nice shocks here. It's not a race performance shock, but it's a great, you know, road all use shock. Mm -hmm. uh, now I think, correct me if I'm wrong, Herm, but we'll go ahead and we'll take these apart and we'll pull the, the caps off. You wanna do that? Yeah. So, okay. So we'll just put these in the vise. We gotta keep this part, and it's the uh, the base for the spring. Dang, shut back. Okay. Woo. Now there is a tool to do this. Obviously, <laughs> we have it sitting there, but. <laughs> So Progressive provides us with these little sleeves. You just slide that baby on there, and then we're good there. Otherwise, you're, you'll have some unexpected drop. <laughs> now can we put the wheel on? Yes, we can put the wheel on. Rear sets. Our outrigger goes right into factory position. The bolts we took out earlier are the same ones we're going to use. So this is going to go in here, there, and that is going to screw right into there. We're going to want to put this spring washer on the back. It's got a little lip there that it's going to sit on, but it's a little tough to make it work this way. You want me to get some grease? I think we're going to get some grease. Yeah, you got that? Well, the purpose of the wave washer, spring washer, what have you, is provide enough tension on this unit that there's no wiggle room. Um, it's going to be nice and tight, but yet it's going to have free movement. The trick is getting the wave washer to sit in the shoulder of this shoulder bolt. The easiest way to do it that we found is we put a little bit of grease on it, which is going to act like glue. Um, it never hurts to have grease on all these moving components anyway. Yeah. 
So have a nice, easy shift, yeah. and there's no movement in that whatsoever. Uh, we're going to want to take this piece off here, the stock one, which we're not going to use anymore. Uh, that's going to come off. We're going to use this replacement, uh, which is going to sit. You're always going to want to have this uh, rosette here, this gear shift arm. You're going to want it to have it in the same position as this. So for example, if this is down at six o'clock, so should this be. If you've got this at about seven o'clock, so should that be. Um, that'll make for really easy shifting and movement. So this is all provided in the kit. This is a left side, a left hand thread and a right hand thread. It'll also allow for really fine tweaking of your uh, control positioning. If you see that, you'll see that this actually will start to move that and you can see it rotating just by doing this. And this is the purpose of a left and right hand shift rod. So just like the rest of this that we designed to fit all the factory stuff, same thing with the, the peg obviously, is you know it's a nice design, it fits right into the clevis part here with the stock spring and the stock pin. So, um, if you remember when we took this apart, it sat up here, and this is the, the master cylinder actuator arm, which was down here. It's not gonna work with this type of setup, so we're gonna use this, but we're gonna uh, change this out, and where this is gonna go, it's gonna go back here. It's actually fairly simple to do. We provide this piece with the kit that we're gonna replace, and as you can see, it's much shorter, and that's gonna butt up right into here. Uh, when you pull this rubber piece off, slide that out, so that pops out. There's a cert clip. Uh, it's fairly easy to remove. We actually have, and I think we provide these out at the Dime City store as well. These are actually master cylinder cert clip pliers uh, for use in master cylinder so you can get way in there. So it works really well on these as well. There it is. And once you get it loose, you can just pop it right out. Okay, so that comes out. You're gonna reuse that cert clip. Uh, put that sucker right back on here, same way. So we've got the, the actuator in place um, and we'll get ready to mount this now. So what I'll do first is we're going to use the pin and clip that came with the other one and we'll put that in here first, simplify matters. piece all this is this is obviously your brake light and once we have this all buttoned up here um, obviously our brake line to our rear caliper sits here this is the custom one that we put in place with the custom banjo it's not tight yet we left it loose so we can jimmy it um, you've got a washer here so your brake switch now goes into the bridge and in there like so and that's where your rear brake line connects obviously without it uh, you're not stopping or well, you're stopping with the front you're not stopping with the rear This is the, the stock we'll set up here. This is supplied with the kit. How do you register? Ironair.com forward slash Triumph giveaway. Just head over to that website and register to win. We're gonna pick your name possibly out of a hat at the Barber Vintage Motor Fest in October. And if you're there, you get to take it home. If you're not, we'll ship it to you. Thanks a ton and hope to see you at Barber.